The boy Dub Deuce in the building. Yeah, absolutely. You saying like you said the, like they they try to go down the list of you saying of you said oh well you should you should like this because I like this or what it's just like you find it in every facet of life, whether it's you saying entertainment, whether it's politics, or you just it's like and it's funny because especially when we deal with politics, I try to stay away from politics because it's all of them have yeah. those morons and you say it's like you just just you can hate AOC and think she's stupid, but you can look at a Marjorie Taylor Greene and think she's just as stupid. And there are two different sides of the aisle, but you, they don't want to have that conversation. They want you to pick a team and, and stick to it. But then you're like, no, I think I'm just going to stay in my own lane. But then they were like, oh, well, you're being a sheep. Well, you're the one that's stuck to a team, but I'm a sheep. Okay. Right. Hey, dude, when it, so when it comes to politics, this is one thing that just is a fact at this point. No matter who you're supporting, my guy, you are being lied to. <laughs> doesn't matter. Children, write that down. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter which one, and it doesn't matter which part of it. And it, it might even be a white lie or something, or it might be a positive manipulation tactic. It's a lie. <laughs> and it, it's crazy because you said, like, like I said, we we find these these culture wars, and you said, and then like, then you said like. Everybody's getting canceled. Well, they, nobody's really getting canceled. No. You say, it's just they say that. You say, but like, Bro. because you like, it's like you can't touch on certain subjects. You said without pissing off the masses. Just like I mean, because we're standing in that. You said the realm of what we're talking about. You said like well, you can you can do and say whatever you want. You can mm -hmm. do and say whatever you want. And the thing is, you can only be canceled if you allow yourself to be. There's the, the two reasons that you can get canceled. Number one, you have people that own every single thing that you have. So like, it's not you, like a lot of entertainment people, people don't realize this. They're all of their stuff is owned by so many different people that they can easily be canceled because they can pull the rug at any time. But as long as you're you, you're independently you and you take care of your own stuff. The only possible way that you can get canceled is if you give into the cancellation. So if you look at uh, Dave Chappelle is the biggest example of this. If you just double down, it that's a, you can actually get more support, you know. So it's like you said you said something. They're like, we don't like what you said. The second that you say sorry, that's when you become canceled because you lose your own moral integrity. You lose everything. You're you're stepping down. No, not even the side that would have been with you. It'd be, everyone's going to disagree about something. You know, you're never going to appease everyone. But the side that would have been with you is now not going to support you because they're going to see that you don't even stand for what you said. I mean, absolutely. Like, so just, like, that's you how you shoot yourself in the foot. If you're going to like, don't say it unless you really mean it. And if you really mean it, double down, no matter who it makes mad. I could piss off an entire community and I'd be like, I stand behind what I said. I don't care. I'll say it again. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to not get canceled. He said, because I was, I was looking at an interview with uh, Dame Dash the other day, and he was basically saying that about you said, uh, Kanye. He's like, Kanye wouldn't have got canceled if he, the Yeezy, if he kept it away from Adidas when it was his own thing. Because when he came out with Yeezys, he was a big enough star for it to carry. He was like, but with partnering with Adidas and that being a corporation, now you said you kind of have to conform to what they want instead of being true to who you said you, you specifically are. Yeah, bro. Hey. You, we know who said it. Sway had the answers. Sway literally had the answer. Dude, you saw that interview, right? Before before he even did the whole Adidas thing, Sway told him, he's like, why can't you just do this yourself and have your own brand? You ain't got the answer, Sway. And then after all this happened, Kanye was like, Sway did have the answer. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's like, you look at like somebody like a, a debate. And he's, I, I believe he did apologize, and I think that's one of the reasons a lot of people fell off the baby. And yeah, exactly, like, because there's so many things around that. Number one, his persona is gangster rapper, and so you want him to have a backbone. If someone says something like that guy, literally part of his image is the fact that someone ran up on him at Walmart, and in self defense, he killed the guy. So he's like this. This it's supposed to look at him like this hard dude, and then. If immediately he starts apologizing when someone's offended, you're like, that doesn't fit your brand. That doesn't fit your image, you know? So they don't want to support that. People people care about that kind of stuff. And um, also with someone like DaBaby, so many people own his records, like throughout the record label and stuff, whatever. They're like, hey, people aren't going to buy this if we don't apologize. So those people then make a mistake as well because they want to 
you know, they don't want it to fall back on their label or whatever the fuck, but they need to realize that everybody just has to double down. I swear to God. It's like, well, speaking of like doubling down, he's like one of the biggest people that I know that I've seen double down is Trump. He's in whether you leave, whether you love him or whether you hate him, that's your, your opinion. To me, that is an entertaining motherfucker because when he doubles down, that shit is hilarious. <laughs> it, no, it, it is, but that's like, the most commendable thing i like donald trump for some reasons and i dislike him for some reasons but that's with everybody you know you're always going to be kind of like you're going to disagree here agree there like i said earlier you know everyone goes through different experiences and there's so many different variables that it's never going to be perfect and it, that, that's okay but definitely definitely entertaining and 100 i stand with him on that with like he will double down he'll say he'll say that and be, say a sentence someone doesn't agree with it and they want him to change it because they're offended. And he's like, I don't care. I thought about it before I said it. Or even if I didn't, I, I meant what I said. <laughs> you know, it's like, Beautiful. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it, if you're mad, maybe you're an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> Fake news. You know, where the fuck Dub at, man? Where the fuck he go? Here I am. You looking for me? Go. Yo ass is fine. Boy, that guy Dub, and I'm back with another video. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deuce from the- What's up? Me and my big bro. Fuck this new. He said he gonna teach me how to wrestle, you know? I'm gonna win the belt. The boy Dub Deuce in the building.